So we do this procedure called ideal African-American hair transplant by reinforcing the hairline in front and we adding the temporal points and make it nice and solid. So what is an ideal hairline in an African-American uh, person? Uh, African-American men, African men are usually losing hair when they get a little bit low, uh, older on the front and temples. So the temples are not as solid, the front line is not as, as uh, you know, solid, and they, what they ideally like to have a youthful and uh, you know, young looking with a more straight hairline with more angular temporal points. So when the little fading of the hairline happens, they get a little bit older, they look a little bit older, and they may want to get that youth back to the face. So we do this procedure called ideal African-American hair transplant by reinforcing the hairline in front and we adding the temporal points and make it nice and solid. So this patient obviously is not a bald person. He's just somebody who's going through a maturation of hairline, maybe some thinning of hairline corner and temporal points going back, but it's not any way close to something that you can call a bald person. But if the person wanna have a nice and solid hairline, we can easily do that with uh, hair trans, with FUE hair transplant. So this is the line you see, we try to make the hairline more of a straight line. In Caucasians, we always create that Look, Caucasian looking like maturation of the hairline, bring the hairline a little bit higher. In African American, sometimes we keep it pretty straight. And then the temporal points, we want to make it nice and angled. And after procedure, it's going to be nice and solid. It looks very youthful on this patient. The way we do this procedure is that we take patient, patient to procedure room. We start with local anesthesia, front and back of the head, and then we um, start making sites. We must make a small incisions that the grafts will go into. After the incisions are done, the design making is done, we change patient's position and start extracting the grafts and placing at the same time. As we remove the grafts from back and sides, the placing team will continuously placing the grafts into the incisions that we already made. So this process keeps going for the whole day between extraction of grafts and placement of the grafts. If you look at the uh, follicular units or grafts that are harvested, uh, closely, you see that there is this very sharp uh, curve on, on those grafts. So it's very difficult, it's more challenging to remove curly hair, especially tight curl in African American, we call a C curve. When we remove those, uh, it takes more time, but the results are really good, especially with the new techniques of hair restoration, uh, a few hair transplant, we can harvest those with special tools, special machines, and the result is going to be always perfectly done. and the, a uh, solid hairline could be restored to African-American pa patients.